Hey there boys and girls of the YouTube world. Today, the Mopar Madman and I are in Twister, the uh, Twisted Sister, and we're gonna go check out an auction and see if we can't buy some garbage. Um, we left my tow pig and big ugly trailer up the road because there's not gonna be much room for parking. So I made him drive me up here and pull his trailer. And he says he's not gonna buy anything. So famous last words. Always. All right, let's go check it out. Auction sale things right off the bat. Oh, he's got the hub saver, you know, so when he backs her in the water, those uh, ramps are like kites. Minnesota things. And look at that. It identifies as a furred. Oh, wow, this thing is good. It's a dirty though, so she'll probably run forever. Red bow tie. He's another one of these rich guys with a brand new trailer, brand new pickup. Hasn't even hardly drug the chains yet. I think we might have more fun just walking and looking at everybody else's garbage than uh, the auction sale. Another, another brand new trailer. Also, these tilt beds don't work with a dam for hauling cars because the fenders are way too high. And you can't put a winch because when you tip it up, the winch wants to pull the back of the bed down. So you gotta get a full tilt, not a 16 and a four like that. Whatever, if you can afford a new, $80,000 Yeah, limited Longhorn. You're probably all right. Did, did everybody just go buy a new trailer just for this? We, we might be in trouble. This might not work out. Oh, no, no. Here's some of our full. There we go. Our friends are here. Yeah. We're good. But, but he's got money. He's got uh, he's got beauty rings on his rally. He's got the trim rings, even. I mean, and they're just car tires. They're just, no, they're, isn't ST, isn't that trailer? Oh, yeah, those are trailer tires. Dang. Spent all the money. Oh. And he's got his little toy boat winch. What is going on here? Is this like, oh, the back half's a beaver. Wow. How does What's he been hauling hay with it? How do you jack the back end? Oh, oh just, yeah, it just tilts right there. Or That's just like a wedge you put on there to hold it up. That's cool. I've never seen that before. Swanky. He's got a big winch. And it's greasy, so he's uh, used it before. Oh, it's, it's that guy. I think this guy gets a new pickup every six months, I heard. Looks like it. <laughs> Minivan mega. Oh, he's got the cooler with. He's got his own sandwiches. Plastic chrome is peeling off the upcaps, too. Ooh, eight inch rallies. White letters out. Score. Oh, square body. Why does nobody ever put Kragers on trailers? Kragers are so awesome, they should put them on trailers. Don't no. you agree? No. Yeah. I mean, that's a good spot for him, to be honest. I'm going to do that. I'm going to look for Kragers. He's Papa. Apparently. Or you can't spell Impala. <laughs> <laughs> Impala? Impala? Impala. Part of the country are you from? This, oh man, Ford things. Oh, he thought he had a Raptor. <laughs> Jeez, I don't think he's even used those ramps yet. Yeah, this isn't going to go well. All these guys got too much money. They uh, bought freaking trailers just for this. Park right up here. You wanted to walk from a half mile away just because you needed the exercise. Now you're like, man, we could have drove right up to it if we'd unhooked the trailer. Unhooked the trailer. See you super truck your way down here with your big monster. Not happening. Yeah. Loading out might be fun. But I got a feeling we ain't going to buy nothing. Well, here it is. I guess we'll start in this row. 81, two, four wheel drive with a plow. There would be our plow set up. Don't look too bad. It's not a diesel, at least. Rally is. She's pretty squishy. 69 or 70. Small, small block automatic. How can you tell 69? Oh, it's a factory air pickup. Nice. What's the grill like? So 69 and 70 are each one year only grills. Really close, but Keystones. Overload springs, tow mirrors. So tell us, what's the difference between a 69 and a 70? Inside the inside of the grill. The egg crate is different? Yep. Pretty much all it is. I think they're repopping the 70 inserts now, I think. Gotcha. 62, 235 car. Power glide. This game, quarters ain't bad. 
that they'll never finish. I dig mud flaps. I don't know why, but lately I'm really into them. We got some Mayville motors. This thing is dragging pretty good. There might be some good finds in there. Ooh, some chrome lug nuts. Oh, you found the one you want already, huh? No. If you bought them both, you could put the rallies on here. Yeah. No way, dude. It's got five spoke on the front. I didn't even notice that. And the white letter out. I'm sure that'll hold It's air. a Formula One. And a 14, I'm sure. Oh yeah, and it's probably one of the steel. Oh yeah, it's definitely the steel inserted. Yeah. She's that a... Like he's a ripper. Tagged in 75. Oh yeah, it's got two of them. That was somebody's hot rod in the day. What year was this? 67? 5? Three-speed car. I think they all had buckets. Tagged in 88. Sixty-five and pal and two to hard top. He must have backed into something real pointy. A little squishy down low. Oh, it's got the factory accessory wood, wood, wood grain steering wheel. And a diet slice of <laughs> I was gonna say, is that slice? Yeah. Diet slice. Oh man. That's the good stuff. Tri bar gauges. Power glide console or column shift. Power steering. 283, 327. 327, I would guess. Yep. 70, 72 Monty. I think it's at 70. Yeah. Yeah. Auto car. Yeah. You could you could be Ruben today. You know, the quarters ain't bad on this thing. Apparently it had a blue cover on it at one point. Cause, cause vinyl top yes, things. Yes, let's cover, let's hold the moisture between the vinyl top and the blue tarp. That thing got a little crease there. A terrible window tint job. Not bad though. Small block, AC. 350. 350. God, I just can't get over how much room there is in these things. <laughs> yeah, like, it's crazy. Maybe we should put a V12 in it. We should. Yeah, this thing isn't bad. Other than the windshield's out. Five window, 47 to 53. That one was Paul's. You can tell because he put his name in the horn ring. With vintage, 40. Six to forty-eight or something like that. Somewhere in there. Not really my. <sighs> not, not, not your area of Mopar no, expertise. No, forty-two. Ooh, it still has the hood on it. Ooh, it's got the guide six eighty twos. The marker light. I think it ran up till eighty. That's pretty good. Those are kind of some strange split ring solid disc wheels. I have wheels. never seen rims like that. There's got to be some kind of a hubcap or something. The little notches. Those holes. Or... Yeah, I don't know. Here's the spear too. Had the uh, defrost window thingers on there. There's a spare head in there that's not for this. And some glass. The gauges aren't in bad shape. Oh, the All the goodies. Oh, maybe this will be the one for you? Maybe. Split manifold, dual carbs. 40, yeah. If only I knew a guy who had those. If only you and I had been to an auction sale one other time. And yeah come across those I don't know we want to look at that side anyway this is the better side. that's the money side wah, wah. <laughs> that is you get a that is but isn't the head it's missing the head but it's an overhead valve head that's in there yeah ooh boxcar caprice impala <laughs> donor I mean donor or donk 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 oh look at those mirrors what what the? Are those factory? They cannot be. They, I bet they are. Those things are huge. Little Jeep pickup they said is complete, but uh, seeing how the front clip is in the box, I mean, it might all be there, but some assembly required. Looks like the same flathead four that Dad's Jeepster has. I like that color though. And then another Willie's basket case. 
well, I thought the hood tipped sideways, but it's just coming apart at the seams. Another flat four. That just screams horsepower. All 30 of it. Tags are still on the column, though. Some more Jeep axles, hood. Another engine. I'm oh, sure it's good. It's got it's, the speed parts. It's go on. fast. Like it's even got the checkered flags on it. Yeah. Oh yeah, real good. Jeep tub. Oh my gosh, all kinds of smalls. I guess they're uh, running two rings today, so a lot of stuff. Oh, <laughs> it's. A, I never knew that Buick made a pickup with a flatbed. What a what a deal. All you need to do is get the dually. Dually, eh? Oh, look at it. It even comes with a stereo. It's an automatic. Wild and fuel injected. Competition is the only badges you can put on one of these. That's a good flatbed, though. Like, oh, the wind gates. Those are epic. Those used to be a thing. You could bring them back. I could. The Olds Regency. Is this another, is this another Mayville Motors? Oh, yeah. It's got the chrome slots. Oh, definitely North Dakota. The spirit of the American farmer. We're coming back. Count on it. I think this is the color my other one was. Sport King ATs. And floors. Oh, wow. it has them. They're Dude. there. Roll bar. Play pigeons and golfing. <sighs> We could do it all. Uh, four wheel drive might need some oh. work. Yeah. Is it a 205? Oh, she comes with October of 99. Wood grain though. Wood grain. Tack, tilt, anything? Good. Nope. <laughs> nope. Oh, there is a gaping hole over on your side below the rack. Yeah, turns. there is. But it's only right in the corner. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, oh, that's why all the, the carpets were not to keep the floor better. It was to keep oh. you from getting hit by. The is, this, is this the factory one then? Yeah. The, oh. head, the head knocker. She's a full removable top. With the disco light option. Well, that's for cleaning your deer in the back. Oh, gotcha. That's what that was for. Oh, it's even got the wood grain in the back. Factory here. And on the doors. The doors shut really nice for being up here. 350. This is what a guy needs here. One little chip out of the grill, but... Factory air, power steering, power brakes. Pretty standard. I can't believe how nice the doors open for being a full removable Grease top, ball. Too. And nobody's tacoed the hood yet. Yet. Well, we can do that. Oh, it's it's trying real hard, though. Oh, she's soggy. Real soggy. Was this a 36? This car looks like it was just driven into a barn and parked. Might be in gear. Might be stuck. Or both. Not bad though. No, it's been repainted. I was gonna say it's got some uh... repairs, but I mean, just having seats in it is pretty good for something that's 90 years old. Headliners there? Wow. 1936 LD Brenna. So it's got Pioneer plates, so we don't know when it was ran last. All right. Four digit, pretty early Pioneer plates. Oh, Hatton, the home of Carl Ben Eelson. Tag topper, that's cool. Yeah. Somebody will probably steal that by the end of the day because people at auction sales are losers. Too new. Yeah, those aren't the right ones. Still got the spare and everything under there. That's pretty. And Long John's. See if they're your see if they're your size. If you get chilly, right? Wouldn't you I look? Wouldn't I look good wearing those? <laughs> got the artillery wheels. Looks like uh, the clips were missing on this one, so we just wing nutted her on. Yeah, that thing's pretty dang good. Fifty-six holes, or is it a, this one a five? Five. They always had like the coolest emblems: the Pontiacs and the Oles. Everything here. Everything here. Everything here. Everything here. Okay, double my price. Nice hubcaps. Oh, these cars just are cool. Decent interior in it. 
Looks like a automatic car. Gorgeous dashes. <laughs> the 303-324 with the fat wing air cleaner on it. Same ones the Cadillac had in 56. Flexi hose. I mean, that battery cable looks pretty dang new. Well, not new, but a lot newer than the car. Dig those. Little Beetle, 07, so it's pretty newish. Not a bad car, though. I talked to him the bar the other night. Definitely wouldn't fit in this thing, so we ain't interested. Cool cars, though. Oh my gosh. This, the door is this wide. You gotta have your feet way up there. Would be a hoot to drive. Look at the door handles being way back there. Definitely not built for comfort. Here's that 47 to 53. It's got all the chrome around the windows. Chrome push bar, chrome grill. Not a bad pickup. Oh, it's got the old STP on the door. Bottoms of the doors, the dirt just drops in right here and just eats out these doors usually. Pretty common. Pretty common. Like I said, she was Paul's hot rod. Running Gordon's got a brace that sits right there. All the dirt sits in there. Super common for them to rot out. Nobody cut the tailgate for a green shoot. Got uh, the tow package with lights even. What a deal. 34 5 Chevy truck. Last registered at 51. I think this is a five or early six with that low top on it. A lot of wood in these things. All wood. This one's been inside, so she's pretty good. Oh, the gold top one. Look at that. This Shit. is this is old. <laughs> it's not, it is. This thing's way older. That's, that is very true. Winning odds of winning. That's pretty neat, though. That's pretty neat. That's pretty neat. Are you guys acting responsibly for the mouse that live in here? Too? No. no. Yeah, we're definitely not evicting him. No, nope, he comes with. Or her. Whatever it identifies as. Or they. Yeah. They. <laughs> maybe, it wants, maybe it identifies as a cat. Who knows? Oh, that thing is pretty, you know weird thing is? pretty dang good. combines with their hopper extensions hold more grain than this green truck does. Oh, by far. Yeah. The auger probably holds more grain yeah, than probably. this thing. You couldn't even turn it off in time. Yeah, that thing's been well taken care of. International fire truck L160. Should be an overhead six. Clifford's a big red dog. <laughs> Literally. Literally. Clifford. <laughs> Flexi hose. Big six, like a. 230, 250. I'm not even gonna, I'm wrong, whatever it is. 60, I think this one's a 66. You can tell because the way that it is. This is an Aspen. You can tell that it's an Aspen tree because of the way it is. It's a hybrid. It is an Impala. Air car? Nope. How often does that happen? I don't know, dirt sat in just the right spot. She's had some repairs. What's this, a five or six Ford? Hey, there's one of the other spokes. 55. It's got the nice round. You sure it's five? No, 55 is round. Yeah. Is old, there's a couple guys that want us to do a Corvair real bad, but I can't get excited. Here's a beat stick on the roof, though. Speed stick. We're good to go. Did you put deodorant on today? Yeah. <laughs> it's Saturday. What, what Duh. month is it? It's Saturday. It's almost October. Greenbrier. I think that's what all the vans were was Greenbriers. I'm probably wrong though. Oh look at that. I was like, push the button. Oh no, she's a turn handle. So I pull that comes around. I'm guessing that seat sits the other way. What is Gold River? Is that true? Cause there is a lot of it in here. Interesting. 
Good news for modern man. The thing's got some nice patina. Oh, hey, I found your sunglasses. Oh, I wish I could read what it said. This is a puzzle. I like puzzles. <laughs> Look at that. You puzzle me. Fixed it. You like them when you can figure them out. Think, drink. Something tour. today. It's something tour. I don't know. I thought it said today in the corner. We'll never know. Clamp on hitch. Yeah, that tire is not going to hold wind. Square body GMC, 8 inch rallies. Two tone. This is one of my favorite colors. Combinations. Beauty ring. Oh, she's got tilt. Tack on the column. Spare steering wheel that's cast iron. Give you a dollar, you touch the steering wheel. Oh, that one is greasy. Even the center is greasy. With the duct tape. Yuck. Take the duct tape and wrap it around the steering wheel. Oh, that'll make it even worse. Slider window. Big block, big block. Nope, small block. Got AC, the belt's even on it. Cruise control. Power steering, power brakes. Clutch fan, so you'll never know. <sighs> It's a small block. It'll run. We could drive it home. Look at this. PA. Breaker Breaker 1.9. Oh, Breaker 1.9. This here's a rubber duck. Super trucker. She's a classic. Oh, it's a 77, you know how? Because it's got the gold trim. And it's it's all there, kind of. Even though spare is a rally. Oh, is this a Hiawatha? Dang right it is. Hagstrom Wood Productions, Hurley, Wisconsin. Check it out. What are you talking about? People probably like go for these things. Oh, it's even got a stabbing mattress in it. It's the Lando Nod. It's got dirt. Ugh. Okay, that was enough of that. Mobile meth lab. You can bring it to my place and you could come crash. A 2829 Model A four door. Rear doors are suicide. I think these are the ones that, what are they, Murray? That got all the wood in them? Anyway, it's all there. North Dakota Centennial Parade participant, 1989. That's pretty cool. That's pretty neat. So she had a brush paint job. I do like the balance that the uh, four doors had. That's kind of neat. The rest of the cars didn't have that. Here's the sprayer pickup you're so excited for. I'm missing hubcap is on the trailer. You gotta buy them both now. Apparently. Can you imagine spraying in this thing? It must have been pretty dry back then. Oh, I love the fridge style door handles. It's got a radio. Three oh, speed. Two flexies with ventilation. Ooh, vented. Look, it's got the it's got the Mopar Jiffy Jet colostomy bag. Not locked up either. It's a flathead. I guarantee there's at least two valves that are stuck. <laughs> Should we find out? If you buy it, yeah, go for it. <laughs> I'll break them off for you like I did on your 59. Sure yeah, that is kind of a... It's not even terrible. Would have been a pretty pickup. Yeah. It is cold. Somebody just got done freshly spraying the uh, Corvair Coupe. And we got another Corvair four-door. Those aren't the worst looking cars, but I just can't get excited for them. I guess they go through snow like mad. The bottom's just like flat like a sled and you just coast. That's pretty much all the cars. We're going to go check out the smalls. I don't know if we're going to talk about that stuff much. We'll see what we find. There's a Model T pickup bed trailer thinger. Uh, it's probably worth some money, isn't it? A bed? To somebody. Not to me. Huh. It's plows, wheel rakes, a lot of farm equipment. Tractors? Tratters. All the tratters. Looks like we got tractors of all make and models. Minneapolis, Deer, Farm All. Like that's like an F12. More Minneapolis, 20. Cases. We just need like an Oliver. There's an Alice WP. Oh yeah. I don't think they ever traded anything in. Well, here's a 34 Dodge. You can tell, suicide doors. 
Driver's door is just hanging there. She's got a couple hooies. Windshield frames there. God, the glass is even in it. That door's pretty good. Yeah, they did that even like on that Dodge we looked at a little bit ago. That, huh. In the 40s. Never seen that before, I guess. That's pretty cool. And then uh, look at this GM here 33, 34 Ford frame buried in the dirt. Should have brought the skid steer. We'll just be able to back twister in and like a chain on that bin, pull her out of the way and just yank this right out. Oh, look at this gold in one of the buildings. A couple of Keystone classics. Good spot for them. 39 Chevy truck. Model T truck that's real chewy. I guess about a 37 or 8 Dodge. Sorry if we're motoring through this. Uh, we're uh, running out of time here. They're about to start. It's 10 o'clock. A lot of stuff to look at. Look at the mud hogs on the back of that F20. Studebaker pickup. Some assembly required. Kind of like the rough line on those. It almost looks like they're chopped. Oh, she's got a hose rocket in the back. Maybe that's what they were grafted. Here's a good one. A little 3031 Model 8 Coupe. I'm sure it's got the typical rot in the cowl and the rear quarters, but deck lid's there. So got some original black paint. This in the grill shell and radiator. Tractors. Go lower. These are all the good ones around, I guess. If there is such a thing. You guys are gonna have to keep your numbers up for that. Here's some tractors I can get behind. Cool cast aluminum pedal tractors. Pretty sad shape. And a whole bunch of magnetos. There's the good car. 3031 Model A Coupe, runs drives, allegedly. I'm sure that'll bring good money. What a cute little homemade tractor over there. Some Honda three-wheelers. T Coupe, T Truck. <laughs> this one brought uh, like 2,100 bucks, but it is solid. The old uh, fuel tank here brought 1500 What is it, 15? 1500 something like that? You can read the polarine down the side. Horse drawn, so you got the seat up front. All hand riveted together. Seven and a quarter for the 35 Dodge truck. 725. New old stock. I don't know, chin and no. 83 GMC, we're calling it. Says they don't reproduce them. Jiggle the handle, pig pig. Jiggle it. You have to jiggle the handle. You got any good dad jokes? Yeah, so mm -hmm. you None? None. I'm the, you already know Why do people love camping? Why? Because it's intense. It's not even. <laughs> <laughs> we are laughing. <laughs> I don't get it, explain it. <laughs> I'm at 30 minute five. Where'd he go? 36. Right behind you, sir. 35, 36. No! We're going to the roof now! Seven grand! <laughs> Woo! Good job! Round of applause for that guy and the long-winded auctioneer. That's being persistent. Good job, Lee. 35, 36. Sold it to you, $3,800, number 43242, thank this you. Thank you poor sucker thank that got this thing. There you go, $3,900, that what I went for? Yep. On the couch. $3,900. Oh, sure, the, the guy in the coveralls knows how to run it. Turn the, turn the gas on. <laughs> Gotta turn the gas on and hope it's got new gas in it. Yeah. That's pretty old gas if it's 1927. <laughs> and he's funny. That guy's yeah. not so anyway. That's probably good stuff. That's probably the good leaded gas. Is it running or is it electric? 6600 for the T Coupe. 12,750 going to number 83. Sold it. $1,800 number 28. 1800 Sold the pickup. $2,100 in number. 41 gets it. 2900 bucks. It's not a four speed, not a big block. It's rotted into the ground. Sold it. 2100 bills. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. 
31, number 3,000, now 31, number 3, now 31. 3,200 bucks for the 36 Chevrolet. I think this one went for 11. This thing went for like 65. Deal of the day, 6,900 bucks. Just saved myself $1,650. No thanks to that guy. Oh, that thing is so squishy. It makes my other one seem solid. I just wanted the wheels. 325 bucks and it had headlight covers. God dang it. Talk about stealing. Yeah, oh yeah, that's a Buyota. You know you wanted to get in on this video, come on. And the radio Bajas. Wide track. Look, it's it's got several mud flaps oh my gosh C custom stereo can of seafoam panasonic auto reverse digital synthetic tuner what a deal sold the truck forty one hundred dollars to number two four five twenty five hundred bucks for that fire truck yeah oh my gosh sold the car two hundred fifty dollars to number that's a V8 even. What a deal. Power steering, automatic. Three speed wipers. Three speeds? It's Madiera Maroon. It's an area of Spain where they make the uh, wine. Yeah. Two grand. Thousand bucks for the 77 GMC. Sold at 5200, number 83. 83, going to California. 5300 bucks. God. Sold it back there, number 24 for $725. Oh. $725. Look, it's got a chrome dipstick, Jimmy. Smell it. Oh, you taste it. Well, that's that's why it came with the extra quart. It's empty. It's a quart low. Yeah. Well, this guy is for sure, but uh, oh yeah, jump her in, sure. All right. Thank you. Watch out. Four carburetors. Oh boy. Oh uh, yeah. Oh boy. The terrible part of paying's over. Time to load up. I got this 3031. Well, it's actually a 31. You can tell because it's got this teardrop intent on the firewall. This is a commercial Roadster truck firewall. They uh, never had windshield stanchions, and they got this cover that goes over. Pretty rare piece, so. So I picked that up. And then we got uh, some other stuff over there. We'll do AT. What a guy. What a guy. Just sitting here. Oh, you got a hole in your lip there. Yeah, let me get that for you. <laughs> and then we got this 66 Chevrolet because it was way too cheap. So here we are. No title. No keys. Hey, are any of the tires taking air? This one took air for about 30 seconds and then it all leaked out again. Ah, oh, well. They'll probably take air. I don't think so. We're leaving the cinder block though. Oh. Dang it, it's missing that wheel. So here's what we got back here. We got a 33-4 furred frame. Uh, it's, it's here and these guys are going to pull it out for us, but uh, they forgot to bring a rope. He's got a brand new Receiver hitch though, first time using it. And uh, we're gonna do Duramax things. It's an LBZ, LB7. And now uh, we're gonna hook on this thing and we're just gonna get rid of the old rub and tug and get her out of here. Your Duramax is irrelevant to my ABS. Leather seats? Loaded. Is your mom gonna be upset when you bring it back? <laughs> Bedsides aren't even that rusty. $800 pickup, man. Told you. That's. <laughs> <laughs> How are you gonna dent the back door of that thing? I don't know. That was there. a deer. It's, oh, you got a stripper pole? I just bought it today. <laughs> Jealous, aren't you? You go through so many tires, you just keep the spare <laughs> at ready. Well, you know, we're not gonna talk about that. <sighs> uh, don't you love tonneau covers? How it's. It, it's just a dust collector. Just dust. It's, just it's like the dust. inside of a Hoover in there. A uh, little bit of Hoover Sneef, you know. Yeah. Let <laughs> Hoover some Sneef. It's been a long, long time since I've Hoovered some Sneef. Okay. Alright, which one do we want? What are we pulling out of here? Yes. That. Got it. 
Oh boy, this is either going to go amazingly or it's going to be amazing That's footage. Good. If I sign a waiver that you break your window or dent your tailgate, I'm not responsible. You're already not responsible, don't worry. Because this rope, <laughs> this rope is not going to break. Don't worry about that poor little rope. And pin it. Ooh, <laughs> oh, don't you worry. That rope's going to break for sure. Ooh. Drive, All that. Your mom's gonna want her tires back too <laughs> for her van. <laughs> yeah, that rope's gonna break. Definitely. Okay, try it once. You're on a pipe. Oh, yeah, you're good. This doesn't look dangerous at all. Like a rock! I was starting to Yeah, Bill with real tornadoes right there. <laughs> He's got a push bumper on his pickup. Yeah, I'll we'll push it into the trees. Good on, unhook Who it. Who brought Whistling Diesel in? <laughs> the guy that bought the auger's not so going to be happy. I just met this guy with a Duramax, and he's like, Green Men's never heard of him. <laughs> <laughs> the chassis is out uh i guess we're gonna pick it up in town where he's dragging it to all right on to the next one room for one more if you want to go to aspen <laughs> got room for one more if you still want to go to aspen well we paid way too much for this one so let's not uh rip the cross member out look at that oh it's a it's a reese tow power oh, dang i like how you put the two and five sixteen up for really making the oh. big stuff happen and then we got this Here, it's day oh Oh yeah, just mm, really grab onto her. Oh, you know Ray Charles? Yeah, I do. Oh, what a what a deal! I like when you weld a 22 gauge to a three eighths, and you just turn her up to 11 and just really yeah, just mount her on there. Just just honky it on there, and rope through the windshield. And oh, is it gonna be a CV axle? Come on, Dirty Max. Oh, not not enough. Not gonna do it, Alex. They're smiling, so I mean, they're having fun. Yeah. Look out. So you guys have all seen the video where they uh, pull the stump out with a wheel. We're gonna try that with a Model A. You ever seen a Model A coupe shoot in the air and go through the windshield of a Duramax? Plan B, get yourself a steel track. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Duramax life! Oh my gosh, this is the dumbest, amazing thing that I've done in at yeah. least a day and a half. Gosh, this is the greatest thing I've... Oh my gosh, that was amazing! That was the best idea you ever had. Slap hands! Slap hands! Slap hands! <laughs> oh, that was great. Yeah, we got some wheels that aren't turning. Oh yeah, this uh, couch cushion I found in the junk pile, real good. This thing's nice. Oh, she don't she don't really steer, so I guess we're just gonna go wherever he pushes us. Let's make like a tree and get the flock out of here. Well, we made her back. Look at that. Those uh, hopeless boys, they were, they were a lot of help. 
don't know about a lot of help. Yeah, they, they were. But... A lot of entertainment took place yesterday after the auction. But here's what we got. We got a 66 Impala and the Model A Coupe. And the Mopar Madman, he was there with me. He's hauling a 33, 34 frame home for me. So, you know I hate stuff that uh, don't roll. Here's the rollers. We're gonna get these on there. And then uh, we're gonna make the Model A. We got the right rear wheel rolls. The other three don't. So we're gonna see if we can make that roll. And we're just gonna leave it on steel wheels because those rims really ain't worth a ton to us anyway, or anybody. So you know, have to find tubes and tires and yada, yada, yada. So. Perfect, right, pal? What do you think of this stuff? You weren't here yesterday. Oh yeah, Cummins life. Okay, let's get this thing jacked up, get some tires off it. Apparently somebody didn't wrap the chain around enough times. I'm sure that was Yvonne, the Dirty Max operator. He's, he seemed like a real, we'll just, we'll just say he's, He's a special kid. We weren't even really looking at this car, but uh, it went way too cheap. So here we are. Looks like it's got a 14 inch. It's not a torque thrust. It's a five spoke. I think it's got, I think it's got a steel rim inside of that metal or uh, it's an aluminum face inside of a steel rim. I'll show you in a minute. We'll, we'll probably put a tire back on that thing. Use this really awesome roller. What do you think Duff? Yeah, still better than Craigers. I think there's a rally, 14 inch uh, rally wheel on the front on the other side. Yeah, get right up in there. Scratch that Madiera maroon paint. And also the driver's door is the only door that we could get open. Oh my gosh, that's a 15 inch rally. Freaking score, that was worth the price of admission right there, huh, Duff? Had a boy. We did take the uh, trunk lid off the Model A because it was just setting in place, so. Don't worry, that's in the pickup. Okay. Let's uh, swap some wheels and tires. Out. go got all uh tires that hold air on there now 14s on the front 15s on the rear you know the old big and little so let's take a look at this wheel i'll show you why these are a lot less desirable so you can see how it's terribly welded and it's a aluminum insert in a steel center so i don't know how they even weld that i mean it's raised of some sort it's bad isn't it Duff? not good at all so those are good enough for rollers but don't ever pay real money for those unless you're just going to make a hose holder out of it or some static display because you do not want to be relying on those welds going down the road and like i said the easy way to tell is if it's got a steel inside hoop and usually you can tell there's like a lip you can see the steel lip it's hard to see when there's a tire mounted but just look at the backside and the casting just looks terrible on the backside yada 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 and how come whenever these have aftermark wheels they always have one mismatched lug nut like this one was a 7 8 head the rest were 13 16 we put the right lug nuts on there never mind that we only put four right all right let's get this thing uh unloaded
was a little exciting. Apparently we should have tried to free up that left front tire. It looks like the other three are rolling. And uh, definitely don't try to drive ahead and get it to roll off the trailer when it's the front tires that are locked up, not the rears. Tech tip of the day. Didn't screw anything up, it's off the trailer. Thanks for all the help, pal. Well, there you have it, folks. Duff Dog, got to see our goods that we hauled home. Went to a little farm auction that we didn't think was that well advertised. Turns out uh, all the heavy hitters, you know, all the regulars were there. Ran into our first viewer who had a Mortsky repair shirt on. So that was pretty cool. It was uh, red with the white 62 Chevy pickup and Duff Dog hanging out. I think it was our first pickup, our first uh, logo with Duff Dog on there. So that was really cool to see. So. Uh, Went up, said hi to him, gave him some stickers. Uh, met some other <laughs> interesting characters up there that uh, were super nice, help us get everything loaded. Uh, gave those guys some stickers, had some sandwiches with them. We went and had a couple of sandwiches at the local establishment and uh, bought them some pizza afterwards. So thanks to all you uh, kids up there. But yeah, we came home with uh, that Model A Coupe, 3031 Model A Coupe, probably paid you know full retail for that, but. I mean, it's a Model A coupe, and they're uh, they're getting harder to come by every day, and they're uh, pretty well sought after piece. So I mean, I'm not gonna get hurt. They're not making any more of them. And the guy that I was bidding against is a is a jockey. I mean, he buys and sells. So I figured if uh, he's bidding that, then uh, he's gonna make money on it. So it's gotta be worth that. I got that Roadster commercial Roadster cowl. I don't know, really know what that thing's worth. Uh, gave a couple hundred bucks for it. Again, that was a pretty big hitter guy that I was bidding against. He's kind of a tight wad though, so I figured if he's bidding that, that's easily got to be worth that. Easy to store, and then uh, if I had that, and I, you know, if you could take a sport coupe, put that on the front of a sport coupe, you still have to find the right doors. But uh, anyway, it'll fit a Roadster, a Phaeton, Roadster pickup, whatever, commercial cowl. So you can put that on whatever you want, so that's pretty, uh, pretty good piece there. And then what else did we get? That 33-4 frame. Pretty much paid scrap for that, so that was a good score. If a guy ever uh, finds a 33-4 body uh, car pickup, it's all the same. Duff's having supper behind me, so you get to listen to that. And then we got that 65 Impala. Is it five? 66. It's been a couple weeks since we were there. 66 Impala, four-door post, and we just got that because it was going way too. It was going for scrap, basically. And it's a small block automatic power steering car. And it's that uh, same Burgundy as the other one. I don't know, what is it? Madiera Maroon. So, you know, we already got 65 in that color, so we might as well get a 66 in that color. And we had another spot on the trailer, and plus the Mopar Madman was there, so he had a spot on his trailer, so he just hauled the 33 Ford chassis back, and I hauled that and that Model A Coupe back. And yeah. Everything was great. I really like going to those auctions, especially when stuff goes affordable. I don't like standing all the, around all day and uh, doing it for nothing. So I'm glad we got some things there. And there's a lot of really cool stuff there. There was a lot, a lot of stuff there. Most of the cars went what I thought was high. My cousin ended up with that Model T truck. I think that was close to four grand. Uh, that Model T coupe was right around five grand. The Model A coupe that was nice and done was 
10 or 11 grand. Yeah, a lot of that stuff was going, you know, I was thinking that Model A coupe would go, you know, eight, 85 maybe. So yeah, that stuff kind of went high. There was like a 72 Monte Carlo there, 70 to 72 Monte Carlo. A couple of younger guys got that and they said they're viewers of the show. And I think they gave, that was a pretty decent car other than the windshield being knocked out. I think they gave them that three to four grand range. Uh, what else was there? There was that 60, five two-door hardtop i thought oh, that'll be a good car to get it was kind of rough around the edges like everything we get around here and that went for same deal like 3500 bucks which is way too much money for the stuff that uh we do around here because we gotta have our fun with it and then we gotta quick flip it and you know hopefully get a little bit of money for our time because uh unfortunately that's what keeps the world Going around, and that's what pays the bills here, is, you know, turning these things over. And, uh, you know, you gotta pay insurance on the trailer, and wheels and tires, and gas, and, you know, our time is worth something. So, I mean, it's not free to drag this stuff in here, and we gotta heat the building and electricity, and yada, yada, yada. So, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. We usually make money on this stuff, because we have to. If we're losing money on it, we would not be in this shop. Duff, uh, wouldn't look so fine with his fancy haircuts and such. So I think that pretty much wraps it. Um, I should have done this wrap a little bit earlier so I can remember what stuff kind of went for. I usually I forget at the end of the day. I need to bring a notepad with me and write down what the, the, the good stuff goes for. Get the good stuff. Get the good stuff. Thank you very much for watching. I uh, hope you guys enjoy this uh, type of content. It's a good way for us to uh, put some of this auction stuff out there because that's where we get some of our cars so uh gives us a little boost in the uh ad revenue to make second channel videos and I, it seems like you guys kind of like these and uh like i said i kind of like going to auctions so if we can keep this rolling obviously auction season has pretty much come to an end here in podunk north dakota so we won't be doing any till next spring and it seems like everything's going to online and then there's just less and less farm auctions because there's less and less farms because they keep getting bought out by bigger and bigger farmers so they're kind of few and far between and uh, we don't do the big, like, Vanderbrinks. She had one last week in the Black Hills, and there's a big truck auction in Nebraska going on right now. And the A, they're so far away, so you get a pile of fuel in there. And B, we can't pay full retail, and Vanderbrink stuff goes for, like, 20 to 60% over full retail. So unless I really, really wanted said car, I can't afford those prices because I don't really, like... There's nothing on those auctions that I absolutely need and we can't buy them, have our fun with them, make a couple bucks on the video and uh, turn the car for a profit. Just, it's, that's what happens in fairy tale land. That's what happens on the uh, stuff on the Discovery Channel. We can't, we can't do that. So, here's what it is. So thank you very much for watching. Check out the merch down in the link below. That's, that helps out the channel. I mean, just liking, commenting, sharing. I'm sure you guys are already subscribed. Just all that stuff really helps out a lot. Duff and Chin and Mickelson and I really appreciate all you guys for watching and everything you do. So thank you very much. Remember, it doesn't matter how you get it done, as long as you are having fun. Auctions are fun, aren't they? No, you don't get to go to auctions. Yeah, Duff's not a big fan of crowds. I just am not a fan of trying to keep Duff in check in crowds because he's... Gotta go a million miles an hour. Believe it or not, he's not always like this. All right, on to the next one.